Now every day I look for snails. These nasty, destructive pests are the anathema of any gardener. And I have found a very clever way of getting rid of them. We are going to go visit Miss Snailtail, Colleen Flanagan in Pacific Grove. She has a very clever way of getting rid of snails, and it's delicious, too. Hi, Colleen. Nice to meet you, finally. Nice to meet and you. And this must be Little Plum. How cute. We're going to go out and go collect some snails. We're going to eat Oh, great. Well, let's go do that. Yeah, it's a perfect night. Now it's time to pick a pail for snail picking. Oh, too many choices. Let's see. We have the sand pail. We have the googly. Well, He's I think I'll have, the dark. I'll have to have the googly eye pail then. Okay. All right. That's really cool. I might try this one. This is a pretty festive. Oh, nice antique sand pail there. So, okay. Let's go. Come on, Plum. Okay. Okay. Have to be very quiet. <laughs> yes, we wouldn't want to scare the snails. That's right. When you're yeah. hunting for snails, they might run away. It's kind of like, for me, if you liked hide and seek as a kid or hunting Easter eggs, it, it's that exciting. I find it to be. So a it thrill. looks like we're in good snail territory. I see lots of nibbled leaves all over. In fact, I see some little tiny oh, ones. Yes. On well, the nasturtiums here. Well, go ahead and pick even the babies because it's oh. a it's a big process. Okay, well, let me get my pail open, and off you go there. Let's see. Oh, here's a huge one. The agapanthus is like. Oh, yeah. It's funny how some plants just seem to be just snail hotels. Yeah, agapanthus, I'd oh, say, is yeah, boy, top. right, look at them right there. And in the daytime, they're all underneath, just hanging out. But each, each one can lay about, average is 86 eggs. Oh, my gosh. Per, and if the season and the weather and the region is right, I mean, this climate, this Mediterranean climate, you can get maybe 400, 3,500 eggs a year from one snail. It's amazing that we're not overrun completely wall to wall with snails. Right, but it's also amazing that hand collection is the number one method. So that's why I'm sort of on this mission to, to go out and collect them. <laughs> I think we can make a dent. Great, they're all over the walls here. Just oh, having yeah. a snooze. If I go collecting in the morning or in the daytime, I definitely look under every surface and every wall. They say the more you remove all the extra pots and pieces of wood, you know, you minimize your, your, your pest problem. Your yeah. snail population. Well, you know, there's a lot of things that hide under all the cracks and crevices that we humans provide for animals. So, you know, uh, earwigs love to hide under pots and and bricks and things, and snails like to hide in the cracks in the, uh, in the uh, clabberding like we have here. Well, Colleen, it looks like I got about 15 snails. What did you get? Mm. Oh, wow, you got way more than I have. They're an active group in there. Yeah, I know, I gotta keep knocking them back so they don't come running away. Looks or, about like 20, 25, 30. Not a, not a bad haul for just a few minutes of work. No, oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. And then I bring them back and just put them in here, and then whichever snails are big enough that I feel like it's time to be eaten, I put them inside with cornmeal, sometimes oyster shells, maybe flax seeds, ground up almond meal, just all kinds of nutritious things. And then after maybe a week or so of that, just to make sure that they haven't been poisoned by different plants or someone's poison, then I know, okay, they're still alive, they're good to go. And then I set them in another container, no water, because they need water to keep alive. They dry out just where they put that little seal, and they, you know, you see a snail just stuck on a wall. Uh huh, and it's all sealed up, it has a little cover on it. Right, and so once it's like that, I, sometimes it just takes three days, four days, and then I boil them four to five minutes, and then make a new international dish, because I'm working on an international cookbook. Oh, great, 1,001 things to do with 1,001 snails. That's right. Well, I want to have all the, I'm tired of just, you know, butter and garlic. Yeah, that's fine. But why not an Italian dish, mostly marinara type sauce. And it's so easy because you just put all the ingredients with the snails, simmer it down for an hour and a half, and then put it on some kind of noodles, orzo, whatever you want. Oh, right? wow. If you want to find out what's eating your plant, 
go out at night. Many pests, including slugs, snails, earwigs, even rabbits and deer, they do their damage after dark. Young man, what are you doing in my garden at this hour? I'm looking for pests, Granny. You're a pest. <laughs>